Hi there. As you probably know by now, there was a case of rape reported on our Stellenbosch campus this weekend, following a similar incident earlier this year, of which we know. This is unacceptable, and we need to do something about it. The question is, what? How do we, as university community, respond to this? Is it a security issue? That's certainly part of the picture. Stellenbosch University has done a huge amount the past few years to improve campus safety. But it is not the only dimension. What about reporting procedures, disciplinary steps and legal processes? Again, we have very good systems in place. Not flawless, certainly, but I don't think this is where the main problem is. There seems to be a misunderstanding that security measures and criminal prosecutions can prevent rape. They can't, ultimately. They are deterrents, and it is important to cover these bases very well, but they will not fundamentally shift gender violence. The problem is a much broader one. It is about a prevailing attitude in a society of disrespect towards women, which is accepted as the norm. Our society as a whole has a problem in this regard, not just Stellenbosch. Our campus has the same people as we see in our schools, in our political and leadership spaces, in our shops, streets and churches. We are not isolated. We are impacted by wider society and we can impact society. This is our job. We need to shape South Africa to be a better place for everyone. We share the problem with our wider community and we have a specific responsibility to address it. So how do we do it? There is lots happening already in terms of information sessions to raise awareness and change mindsets. And we have also recently appointed a high-level task team to look into gender violence and to make the necessary recommendations. But again, workshops and task teams, as important as they are, are not enough. All of us need to take a serious look at ourselves. We need to develop an understanding that respect for women excludes verbal abuse, sexual harassment, inappropriate jokes, catcalling and wolf whistling. This is a conversation that men need to have. What does it mean to be a man? How do we frame masculinity in a way that is consistent with social justice? How do we ensure there is a common understanding that men and women are entitled to the same human rights, that everyone's voice matters. When men make sexist slurs or tolerate them, laugh at locker room jokes or are silent in the company of offenders, they perpetuate gender violence. This is what needs to stop. We also need men and women to take a stance against the objectification of women. Our job as a university is to develop graduates that recognize and act on social injustice, people who speak back to it. We say we are committed as a university to building inclusivity, equality and social justice and to develop graduates who can do that in society. Let's put this into practice. Let's work together to create communities where everyone, men and women, feel safe and are not exposed to disrespect and violent crimes. We can do it if we show solidarity on that I issue. So that's my appeal to students and staff, to the university as a whole. Let's take a stand against rape and gender violence. Let's take a stand against sexism and the objectification of women. Let's take a stand for social justice. Thank you.